show me. I'm the Martial Arts Film Freak, and I watched Hard Target for the first time. My friend, Mr. Boudreaux, Silver Star, Marine Force Recon. He's obviously not someone we should underestimate. He is an annoying little insect. And I want him stepped on hard. Hard Target is a 1993 film starring John claude Van Damme, Lance Henriksen, Yancey Butler, Chuck Ferrer, and some other great people. Arnold uh, Vosloo, of course, The Mummy, uh, and of course directed by the great, the wonderful, the powerful John Woo. Although there is a story from a couple years ago where like the studio didn't trust John Woo for some reason. I guess they'd seen uh, freaking The Killer and A Better Tomorrow and all those other hard-boiled great movies. Uh, and for some reason the studio was still like, I don't trust this John Woo guy. We're going to send Sam Raimi down there to keep an eye on things. Sam Raimi, step in in case John Woo doesn't do a good job. And Sam Raimi, probably knowing who John Woo was and seeing his movies, was like, yeah, I'll take a vacation in New Orleans. It's fine. I'll vacation and let him do his shit. But this movie is about a... Uh, a group of people who hunt human beings. It is the most dangerous game. They uh, they they get paid by millionaires and billionaires, rich people, to uh, find the uh, the homeless, the lonely, but people usually with some sort of military background. So it seems like they can defend themselves, and uh, they hunt them. Fun. Some things go wrong, and they decide that they need to hunt John Claude Van Damme and some other people because they maybe cracking down on their little game they're playing here and, and may ruin it for everybody, ruin their whole enterprise. And it's fun. It's just all good 1990s action fun. This was a big surprise. The big surprise was that this movie is a slow burn. Like the first 45 minutes, almost nothing of action happens. We get like one John claude Van Damme fight at the beginning to show that he is a badass. And then a majority of the movie is spent with the villain, is with Lance Henriksen, which is a wonderful thing. Lance Henriksen owned the villain role in this. You can tell at some parts he's having so much fun. This is a villain role that I would put up there with the likes of a Hans Gruber in terms of American action films. It gives the villain time to simmer. It gives you time to like figure him out. It's not just, here's why he's the bad guy, here's what he does, he's the villain, move on. No. You get to see his methods, his plans, what makes him so dastardly. And that's what really works about that character. The movie does a wonderful job of building us up to the action. We don't just get this big, huge action scene right at the beginning to show it's a Van Damme movie. Of which I will say it's not a Van Damme movie, but I'll explain that in a second. Uh, no, the movie just gives you time to ruminate. I don't know what that word means. Gives you time to get to know our villain, understand his plan, understand why what he does is so horrible. I mean, yes, he's hunting people, but there is a bit more to him just hunting people. He's a fucking asshole. A terrible person. Uh, and then, you know, we see our heroes, I'll say there's a bit of plural there, um, we, we see them breaking it down. Why? What What is happening? Why are people in the town dying, going missing? You know, this this death wasn't just an accident. He didn't die in a house fire there's a bullet wound or there's a, something going through a dog tag like it shows that he was murdered they have to break that down and we get all the perfect elements we need to just until finally crack all action the rest of the movie break like just so good i did enjoy van damme in this he is quite good um i've you know of course i said last week in another videos i'm not the biggest van damme fan i think i think he is great i think he, watching him fight is spectacular uh, and in terms of his acting here, I suppose I don't have too much to complain about. I like some of his one-liners in there. Uh, some of his stuff at the beginning is a bit weird. His introduction in this is odd. I didn't understand what was going on with his introduction. But that's why I say the first half of this movie really was not about Van Damme. It was about Lance Henriksen and, and the other guy from The Mummy. 
Um, it's about them for the first half, and, and it works wonderfully. Now, I have complained in the past about Van Damme action. I am not a big fan. I think his fights are all the same and kind of slow and choppy in my opinion. However, I absolutely love the action in this movie. I love the action in this movie because this was not a Van Damme movie. This was a John Woo movie with Van Damme in it. You get about 75 to at times 90% John Woo action with sprinkles of that Van Damme flair in it. And that was beautiful. I thought it was excellent. There's just like a scene where Van Damme will just have two guns, of course, John Woo staple, two dual wield guns. And he's just like right in front of a dude, as far as I am away from this camera here, I can pretty much touch it. And just, I don't know how that looks, that's gonna get all blurry on me. But he's just like shooting him, shooting him, shooting him, and then spin kick. Wonderful, just blast, 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 kick, that guy's down. One, that's all I need, that was excellent. And something I love about John Woo uh, action, of course, with the guns, I'm not the biggest gun guy, and it turns out I do love gun action, I just love when it looks good. There's a problem with a lot of American action movies when it's all just gun battles where the staging is horrible. The framing is awful. We never know what is happening. We see we see gunshot, cut to the other guy, react. Gunshot, cut to the other guy, react. It's, that's all it is. We don't see where people are. We don't see where they are within the environment because when you have that environmental knowledge, you understand the stakes. When you know where's the bad guy, where's the good guy, where does the good guy gotta get to to get around the bad guy or possibly get to the bad guy, and just how do they relate within their environment? That adds so much to the drama of a scene and a lot of American or, you know, I guess other gunfight action movies don't do that, but John Woo does it beautifully. John Woo really does not like treat guns or any weapon really as a prop. The weapon, whether it be a gun, a knife, a grenade, a grenade is just an extension of the person. It's an extension of the performer. And so when you treat it that way, you get what is essentially good choreography with a weapon. And I'm not talking like some equilibrium shit. Yeah, it's all cool and flashy. It's the Matrix. The Matrix does it well too. Um, but you get choreography with it and it's not just a hand-to-hand -hand fight where they're punching with guns just I, I don't know how to explain it it's they the way he frames his shots the way he frames his locations along with the weapon in hand it all just works wonderfully i i seriously love the infusion this this fusion of uh a van damme mixed with john woo action i think john woo in, in itself is gorgeous John Woo style action is some of the very best you're going to find in the world of all time uh, you know I, I love Van Damme's movement I love his flair I just don't like his choreography throw out the choreography and keep the flair that works for me you know put that flair put that flair in some in some John Woo style action gorgeous absolutely wonderful um, you know not not the greatest gunfights you're gonna find in my opinion no that's still that's still something like a john wick or even a hard-boiled or, or the killer um but some absolutely wonderful work here so potentially an all-time best villain in my opinion you can i don't know is this is this is this a crazy thought to, to throw a lance hendrickson villain in there with a hans gruber maybe it would help if i actually knew lance hendrickson's name in this of course it is um uh yep yeah, nope don't know that name i'm just gonna say lance hendrickson his name is uh, Emil Fouchon. Um, I mean, yeah, cool name, but Hans Gruber is a better name. But I, I do th genuinely think Lance Hendrickson's uh, performance here is up there with Hans Gruber. Um, but I, th I may be nuts for that, and you may tell me in the comments what I think about that. But fantastic villain. Decent enough story. It's the most dangerous game, but make it an action movie. A beautiful fusion of Jean-Claude Van Damme flair in the John Woo-style action. And God, that was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I... I was thinking this movie was going to be a bit lower, Let's say like a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts to me. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this uh, about a four, four uh, moonshine whiskey explosions out of five. Yeah, that works. I was just genuinely surprised. I don't do John claude Van Damme movies, and I think I like this one because, as I said, 
It's not a Van Damme movie. This was a John Woo movie with Van Damme in it. That is, turns out that is a beautiful combination. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on Hard Boiled. Am I nuts to think the villain is as good as Hans Gruber, or at least in the same league? I'm not saying he's probably better than him, but they're definitely in the same league. Tell me your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to Facebook, where there is the Martial Arts Film Freak Facebook page, Instagram, Martial Arts Film Freak, Twitter, Tristan underscore Glover, and Martial Arts Film Freak on the TikTok, doing some fun things over there. Made a few TikToks in the last few days. Did one on all the Jackie Chan movies I have. Counted them up. Because I think he's probably the person who appears most in my collection. Um, that's fun. Uh, yes, do all those things. Check it all out. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.